All right. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna head down to Nolan River Lake and Rough River Lake. We're gonna be camping tonight, uh, fishing tomorrow, camping tomorrow night, and fishing on Sunday for a little while. Got a tournament coming up in a couple of weeks. Gonna go down and see if we can't figure something out for that. Uh, build a fire, cook some good food tonight, take you guys along with me. Should be a good time. Uh, let's get on the road. Peace y'all. So we are here. Uh, we've arrived at the campsite. Uh, we're actually right, well, we're closer to the lake than I anticipated and thought we were going to be. I'm going to go ahead and get the back opened up here and get some stuff out. Maybe go walking around a little bit. So hang with me while I get everything going. cooler there. <laughs> I need to clean the grass and stuff off. It's been sitting outside uh, for a while. and Well, it's got some grass built up on it, but got the fire pit right here. The way the wind's blowing, I don't know if we're going to be able to do a fire tonight, but we'll see how it goes. Um, got the truck and the kayak set up here behind me. I'm going to walk down and take a look at the lake, see what it looks like, and uh, take you guys along with me here in just a little bit. But first, let's uh, check the phone, check in with the wife, Stay tuned, guys. Care of. Let's walk down to the lake. Let's take a look around. Well, there's a little fishing pier. So that's kind of neat. Hopefully the wind doesn't get too crazy. We can get a fire going in a little while and uh, get out on the water tomorrow with no issues. Um, I've never fished this part of the lake before, so might be kind of neat to uh, explore around here and see what we got. We'll pull up maps later and uh, take a quick look around and see what I can, you know, scope out. But anyway, here we are, Nolan River Lake. Uh, a couple docks over there. But yeah, here is the lake. It's a pretty lake. No wake zone here. Nice little point right there with some timber off of it. The bridge, and there's the uh, ramp and the courtesy dock. So, I'm gonna hang out down here for a little while, check out the lake, head back up to the site here in just a little bit, get this weekend started, y'all. Peace. Hopefully the wind dies down enough, I can uh, have a fire. If not, well, so be it. Anyway, I'm going to get the cooler on out, finish setting up and just kick back and relax uh, throw some music on wow that road all the way down here not clipped to anything so awesome sauce <laughs> anyway thanks for watching guys peace You guys saw that tripping over my kayak trailer and then ramming my leg into the uh, post of it there so anyhow uh, something real quick I want to show is I did cut the legs down on my cot so it does sit down a little lower uh, but a big shout out to youtuber Dylan DeLong he has a soft topper on his to uh, on his uh, Toyota Tacoma and he did a walkthrough of it 
and I saw that he had a curtain on the back of it so I was like okay well, I'm gonna see how he does this so what he has done is he's taken a small curtain kind of like what I had already but I've been clamping it to the back of my window that's, that's rolled up here and just clamping it and kind of tucking it in and, and hoping it would stay up well <laughs> thank you Dylan DeLong uh, go check out his channel he's got some good videos out there um, he camps in the back of his uh, Tacoma under a soft topper on a cot kind of the similar setup that I have anyhow check this out yo I had this curtain it was a uh, small curtain for I don't know as you can see just a small curtain that goes vertically on uh, smaller windows well I needed it my wife said I'm not using it so I took it and clamping it in place with clothes pins whatever I can find well again Dylan DeLong he's got paracord there's poles on the inside of the soft topper here as you can see and I've got paracord tied on either side and there's no holes uh, for a curtain rod or anything on this side of the uh, curtain that I have it's on the well what would be the top so what I did is I basically just cut some holes in it and now I have a curtain that I can pull and stretch across my back window and that's my privacy now the super cool thing about it is I found the other one of these and I'm gonna put it across the front and have the same setup up there problem is I can't find any more of my paracord uh, so got to improvise and use something else so speaking of which <laughs> I needed to stop and get some rope of some kind for a tow rope for my kayak and I didn't so I'm hoping maybe tomorrow I can find that um, hopefully it won't be too big of a deal loading and unloading the kayak tomorrow so I'll just have to uh, I'll just have to play it by ear see what happens but anyway thought I'd share that with you guys uh, anybody else that's camping out of a uh, soft topper it's the bee's knees y'all love this thing uh, could use a little more soundproofing but other than that it's not too bad at all uh, stay warm in the uh, winter when I cold wet cold weather camp uh, I do have some reflectix that I put up in the top of it up here and I run that underneath the or between the topper and the bars there so it uh, helps hold in uh, some of the warmth but it's not gonna be too terribly cold tonight I think it's gonna get in the mid 40s uh, hopefully there's no strong winds or rain or anything that comes through but if there is that's all good we're prepared for it ready to go anyway um, yeah so I'm gonna climb up here and get one of my Bluetooth speakers and get that set up and start listening to some music and uh, just hang out for a little while guys appreciate you following along stay tuned and uh, I'll check back in soon okay so we just fired the griddle up got a ribeye to throw on there got some potatoes and some vegetables uh, peppers and onion mix so that should be really good with the uh, steak so we'll get that out of the cooler here in a few minutes and uh, we'll just enjoy the rest of the evening uh, the wind is picks up dies down don't know if I'm gonna build a fire or not uh, there's a lot of leaves it's a little dry so we'll see about that I'm gonna get dinner going and uh, relax and listen to some more music I did smell a fire a little bit ago so I'm not the only one building one so yeah we'll get that going here in just a little while I got one bundle of wood out and that should do me for the night um, but we'll see stay tuned guys that smells good it smells good too I'm gonna get the veggies out and I'll check back in a little bit this thing smells amazing Okay, so dinner is ready. Uh, I'm gonna sit down here and enjoy my steak, potatoes, and green peppers, and, uh, and red peppers, and yellow peppers, and onions. It's a lot of peppers. It's a three pepper blend with onions, 
and uh, I got some uh, potatoes in there earlier uh, and my ribeye is down underneath there so I'm gonna dig into this I'll check back in with you guys shortly peace y'all got some kindling done up here got that all set got some paper in there and a uh, fire starter I'm gonna go ahead and get this this started up and uh, just chill out by the fire Right, we'll see if that catches on fire here pretty good and uh, we'll just sit and enjoy it. Okay, well, as you guys can see, the fire's going pretty good. Um, I'm gonna let that burn for a little while and uh, have another drink and enjoy this beautiful evening. The sun is behind me, as you can see. Uh, it is starting to set. It's not all the way down yet, but <clears throat> it's getting there. It is uh, 6:40 Eastern. Thanks for tagging along, guys. Let's uh, let's chill out and enjoy the night. See you guys later. Okay guys, I uh, got the fire going really good now, as you can see, uh, it's burning really good. Uh, I got a few more things of uh, wood there in that little bundle. I got some more in the truck, might get that out. I am going to fire up some Greg Blanchard and watch his latest video, uh, sit here and chill out for a little while longer, enjoy the fire, listen to the uh, sounds behind me, if you can hear them over the dog barking and the rumble of the fire um but yeah just need to, the night critters are starting to come out you can hear them so sun has finally done its thing and has gone down behind the uh the trees and the hills thanks for watching y'all you rock hopefully you fine folks can see me i have got to put some new line on my crankbait uh rod and reel setup set up so <clears throat> we're gonna do that right now while the fire dances in the background. So, let's get this up here, get some good tension on it. I think we're there. Smooth. Stick the end of my rod in the fire. That'd be terrible. Okay, let's roll this up. Alright, there we go. That is that. All right, we got the fire going again. Hopefully it's uh, shining enough light on my face so you guys can see me okay, but I'll show it to you here. <coughs> it's rolling pretty good now. Uh, sorry for the background noise there. The bridge is pretty close. I'm going to sit here and enjoy the fire. Finish my beer. Finish this awesome Greg Blanchard video. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to sit back, chill out, relax, and uh, finish my beer and watch the fire. I'll check in with you guys later, maybe when I'm getting into the truck. Peace. Uh, Alright. It is time for bed, guys. Yeah. Get up in here. Whoops. Sorry about the light there. Uh, hopefully you guys can see me okay. Anyway, um, we're in the truck. It is, ooh, it is, uh, it's 11.30 Eastern. Uh, I'm in Central Time Zone, so trying to keep it uh, even with the times there. Anyway, um, it is late. I'm going to get up and go fishing in the morning, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up right now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and 
Join me next time as we wade through this adventure of life right here on Wade's Outdoor Adventures. Peace, y'all.